Octopants by Susie Senior. Hello there, I'm an octopus. There's something you should know. I don't have any underpants. I've nothing gone below. I tried to buy some octopants. I tried all over town. But everyone just laughed and laughed, then answered with a frown. Underpants for you, they said. Oh no, we don't have any. The problem seems to be your legs. You've just got six too many. I've even tried to shop online. I tried to surf the net. I found a cod, free tuna, and my credit card got wet. I still cannot find octopants. It almost made me cry. There's pounds out there for everyone, except for octopi. But then one day, I found a place I hadn't seen before. A seahorse hovered just inside the huge revolving door. Good morning. Can I help you, sir? Why don't you step inside? My undersea emporium is famous ocean-wide. I have bobble hats for barnacles and evening wear for eels. Oh, Nessie's just for urchins and slipper socks for seals. Jewellery for jellyfish, water wings for whales and rainbow paint for rainbow trout to smarten up their scales. Yes, I've got clothes for everyone, with spots and stripes and rockets, pirate ships and sparkly bits, and lots of handy pockets. Now, underwear for you, sir? I think you've been misled. Perhaps you don't need octopants, but something else instead. And then I saw the problem. I'd looked at this all wrong. These legs weren't legs. These legs were arms and had been all along. Hello there, I'm an octopus. By now you might have guessed. I'm still not wearing underpants. I bought an octa vest.